Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add a sidebar to this blogger theme that we had created from scratch in one of our previous videos. So let's get started. I had created a complete video series where I designed this whole blogger theme from scratch, uh, starting from the HTML and CSS to converting it to the XML format of blogger. So this is the theme that we have created. Now in this theme, we don't have any sidebar. This is just a basic theme. So if I go to any of these uh, posts, we can see that here is the post being displayed and uh, there is no sidebar on the right or on the left. And here down we have some navigation buttons and then the popular post and then the footer. So in this video, I'll show you how to add a sidebar on the right over here. And that sidebar will be available on the post on the pages like the about us page, the contact page and the privacy policy page. And it won't be available on the home page. So we'll just keep the home page as it is. And whenever the visitor visits any of these posts or any of the pages, the sidebar will be visible. So here I have opened up the dashboard of my theme and uh, here you can see all the posts are being displayed over here. So let's go over here to theme and uh, let's access the theme code. So let's click on this arrow and click on edit HTML. And we'll make some changes in the structure of our code. So first of all, let's go back to our website and uh, let's go into a post and uh, let's right click over here and click on inspect and let's see how it is structured as of now so if we go over here to the top we can see that we have this wrapper division which contains everything and in that we have the post wrapper and we can see that this post wrapper displays the whole post so if i scroll up we can see that this post wrapper is just the post content it is not including the header and let's scroll down and see till where we have the post wrapper so we can see that it includes the whole post so what we can do is uh, we can create an outer division for the post wrapper and then we can create one more division for the sidebar and we'll make the parent division display of flex so that the post wrapper will be on the left side and the sidebar will be on the right side so let's go ahead and do that and let's see how it works let's go to the blog and let's scroll up and uh, here we can see this is the post wrapper division it's actually a section so let's go ahead and uh, add a new division over here and we'll just give it a class name of blog sidebar container so this will contain the blog and the sidebar and let me just fold this and after the post wrapper we will just end this division so i'll just type the ending tag over here so here we can see we have this uh, blog sidebar container division and in that we have this section which contains the whole post and uh, after this section we will add a division for the sidebar so we'll type div and we'll give it a class name of sidebar and i'll just close it over here and for now i'll just type this is the sidebar over here all right let's uh, click on save and let's go to our uh, website and uh, let's refresh our page and we cannot see any changes right now but if we scroll down we can see that uh, this is the sidebar is being displayed over here now we want this sidebar to be at the right of our post so let's go back to our uh, code and uh, let's go to the css so here is all the css of our theme code let's go over here and add some new lines of css so i'll just add a comment over here the sidebar and uh, here i'll just type blog sidebar container and we'll set the display to flex and we'll set justify content to space between now the post wrapper division and the sidebar division will be one next to the other and they'll be to the extreme left and the extreme right so let's save it and uh, let's refresh our page and here we can see we have this sidebar on the right and uh, we have this post wrapper division on the left let's open this in the inspector and uh, let's fold this so here we can see we have this uh, 
block sidebar container and uh, then we have this post wrapper and uh, then on the right we have the sidebar now we have to move this sidebar a little bit to the bottom and uh, so if we go to post wrapper here we can see we have a padding top of 100 pixels so we can give a padding top to this sidebar as well and we also have to give a minimum width to this sidebar so let's go back over here and uh, let's target the sidebar so we'll type blog sidebar container dot sidebar and here we'll give it a padding top or we can even give it a margin so we'll type margin top of 100 pixels and we'll see whether it works or we can even change the margin top according to our needs so let's keep it 100 pixels for now and we'll set the minimum width to 300 pixels and we'll also give a padding left to it so right now it is just touching the post wrapper division so we'll give it a padding left of 32 pixels and uh, let's save it and let's refresh our page and we can see that we now have a reasonable amount of width to the sidebar so right click over here and inspect and uh, we can increase the margin top so let me just increase it over here so I think 115 margin top would be better for the sidebar so let's change it to 115 pixels all right let's save it now to make this design look a bit more interesting we'll just add a box shadow to this post where we have the sidebar on the right so we'll add a box shadow to this post wrapper division and this sidebar will be on the right so it'll look a little better so for that let's go over here and uh, let's target the post wrapper division so if i go over here and right click we have this post wrapper it is a section so we have this section with a class of post wrapper but we'll specifically target the b section blog because uh, it will target the post specifically so let me just scroll down and see how far the b section goes so it's almost the same so here you can see if you target the post wrapper we also have the padding on the top but if you target the b section blog then uh, we can directly add the box shadow so we'll target this element right here which is the division with the id b section blog which is inside the post wrapper section so let's go back to our theme code and uh, let's target that so you will type section with an id of post wrapper and in that we have this division with an id of b section blog all right let's give it a box shadow of 0 pixels 4 pixels 8 pixels rgba 0 0 0 and 0 0.3 and we'll also give it a padding of 16 pixels and let's also add a border radius of 8 pixels right so let's save it and let's refresh our page and now we can see that we have this box shadow over here and uh, it looks a little better and the box shadow is till uh, the end of the post all right so now let's go back to the home page and here we can see that on the home page also we have this sidebar but we don't want to have the sidebar on the home page so for that let's go ahead and uh, take advantage of the body classes inside our theme so right click over here and inspect and we can see when we are on the home page we have this body class called home page and if you go to the post we have this body class called item view so we'll just set the display of the sidebar to none by default and when it is inside the item view body class then we'll set the display to block so let's go back over here and uh, here we'll just type item view and uh, here i'll just copy this and paste it over here and uh, here i'll just type display none so by default the display will be set to none for the sidebar and here when it is inside the item view class we'll just set the display to block and in the same way we will also target the b section block only of the item view so here we'll type item view so let's go ahead and save this and uh, let's see whether we have the sidebar on the home page so let's go to the home page and here we can see on the home page we don't have any sidebar let's go to any of the post 
and the sidebar is not being displayed i think we have missed something so we missed a dot over here because it is a class name right now it should work so here we can see for our post we have the sidebar and for the home page we don't have the sidebar right now let's open these pages so for the about page we don't have any issues let's open the privacy policy page we don't have any issues over here as well let's open the contact page and for the contact page we have some problems so let's right click and inspect so over here we can see for the post wrapper we don't have the 100% width that we need the sidebar has the correct width of 300 so let's set a width of 100% to the post wrapper and I think that solves the problem so let's go ahead and add that to our CSS so here I'll just type blog sidebar container post wrapper and I will set the width to 100% and that solves the problem of the contact us page so we don't have any problems with the contact us page the privacy policy page the about page or any of the posts now it's just a matter of adding different things to the sidebar you can add blogger widgets to the sidebar or whatever you want over here so for that we'll just create a section to hold everything so let's go over here to the template code and let's go to the sidebar so we'll click on jump to widget and go to blog and uh, let me just fold this and here we have the sidebar I'll just replace this is the sidebar with a section so I'll just type B section and for B section we need to have an ID so I'll just give it an ID and we'll give it an ID of post sidebar main and close the ID right here and now I'll just save this and uh, let's go back to the dashboard now we can see that the text is not being displayed over here this is the sidebar but uh, we do have the sidebar so here in the inspector we can see that next to the post wrapper we have the sidebar now you can add whatever you want over here so for that you have to go to the layout and if you scroll down we can see we have this uh, section called post sidebar main which we just created so you can just go ahead and click on add a gadget and add whatever you want over here so we have a lot of gadgets over here by default from blogger if you want to include some uh, custom functionality you can just add html slash javascript so that's it for this video in the next video i'll show you how to add these gadgets and uh, we'll also add some css to make it look good in the meantime you can go ahead and add these by yourself and uh, try adding some styles and see how it looks and i'll leave the link of the source code of this theme in the description of this video and i'll also leave the link of the video tutorial where i show you how to create the theme from scratch so if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and uh, if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day